Hey guys, Sherri Ann Richardson from ExoticGardening.com and before we begin, I do need to tell you that I did receive some of these items at a reduced price or for free other items I bought. Um, the items that were sent to me at a reduced price or for free were for my honest review. So what I'm going to do today is to share with you how I plant my raised bed vegetable garden and this is something that you can do even if you live in an apartment as long as you have a balcony or another outdoor area that you can put a raised bed container garden. Now the particular container garden that I purchased it said it needed six cubic feet of soil so we bought three of these uh, bags of organic vegetable and herb uh, mix from Pro Mix, and they're two cubic foot a piece. It took all three plus a little bit of a fourth one, so always plan on a little extra soil because it may take it. I have a garden trowel. I have some compressed cow pots. I have a container kitchen garden seed collection from Renee's Garden. This includes a uh, super bush container tomatoes, Romeo round container carrots, garden babies container lettuce, pot of gold chard, and cameo container basil. I also have a plan that I made up of how I'm going to plant this. And I have the seating square which is perfect if you're going to do square foot gardening. Um, really, really like this. And it makes it really, really easy to know where to put your seeds. And there's a chart inside that also tells you how many seeds per square foot. So, um, for example, tomatoes, it's one tomato per square foot. You can get 16 carrot seeds or plants, because um, obviously they're going to grow within a square foot. Um, four lettuce, four Swiss chard, and four basil. Now, my container is not a perfect square foot, um, double square foot. Mine is more like um, three square feet across, well, three and a half square feet across, and then um, I've got, I'll show you. So the back of my container, I have actually three square feet, plus I have like a quarter of a square feet or a half of a square feet. And then down below, I only have half of that square foot area. And then I have this little quarter section right here. So I did measure it out using the seedling square and have that figured out. So, and I have filled it with soil and I have watered the soil to make it wet. And so our next step is to go ahead and plant this. Okay, so I have my container filled with my soil. I have already wet it down. So it's ready to plant in. And I have my seedling square. So what I'm gonna do is press the seedling square into the soil and then I'm going to take this little stick that came with it and I'm going to mark where my tomato is going to go. I don't know if you can see that very well. And then I'm going to come over here and because this middle thing is in my way, I just kind of have to wing it. And I want to be sure that that's well marked. I also want to be able to mark this side, so I'm just gonna tilt it a little bit so that I know where my seedling square is gonna go for the next one. So, and again, this is only because this is here, and I guess I could have taken, took it out, but I didn't want to. So, there I have the spots for my tomatoes marked, and I have lines, like I said, I don't know how well you can see those, but there's lines there. And so what I'm going to do next is dig out where those marks are. I just want to make a pretty deep hole 
let me apologize now for the dirt bike in the background. Um, it's next door. So what I want to do is dig these out. Normally I would have my tomatoes started, but I don't. Um, I'm running a little behind. This is mid-May. So it's not too late to plant. And then what I'm going to do is take these little cow pots and I'm going to put them clear in the bottom of the hole and press them down so they make really good soil contact, okay? And then I'm going to put fill these little pots about halfway with soil. And the reason I am not filling them all the way up is because I really want my tomato to my stem of my tomato to have some soil around it so that it can help root in. And so when I put the tomato seed in, because yes, you can direct seed tomatoes. Um, but when I put my tomato seed in and I sprinkle a little bit of vermiculite on top, it's it's going to start growing and then I will backfill. Okay. Now I'm going to move this soil up here because this is the soil that I will use to backfill with. And I'm going to plant some other vegetables up here. So I really don't want, I really don't want the pile of soil up here. Um, okay, so there we go. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is you can see the line right here. I'm going to put this right here like this. And I'm going to get my chart. And I'm going to be planting some carrots again from Renee's garden. Sorry, guys. Give me a minute. Again, I'm going to be planting some carrots from Renee's garden and I'm going to get out my little chart here and here it is I don't know how well you guys can see that but here it is and I'm going to look on here and it is 16 carrots per hole and they go in the red spots now obviously I can't quite get them all and well maybe I can I think I could do four here and three here, and I'm still gonna be okay. So what I'm gonna do is, and this is a little tedious because you can see carrot seeds are very, very small. So what I'm gonna do is, I might end up with a couple carrot seed in each hole, and that's okay, I can thin these. But I'm gonna drop some carrot seed right here and I'm not going to cover the carrot seed up what I am going to do to try to make sure this makes good soil contact is I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to just very gently tap this to press the soil and the carrot seed together okay just like that um, I hope you guys can see that okay. Now, the same thing is down here. I have a line right here and I have all this extra room where I can plant some other vegetables and they will be fine. So, like I said, I made a chart and the next thing that I was going to plant was some lettuce. And we're gonna do, again from Renee's garden, the, uh, container lettuce garden baby's butterhead and so I'm going to go back to my chart I mean this is just how easy the seedling square makes things I'm going to go back to my chart and I can get four lettuce in an area it is the blue spots that I'm going to plant so technically I'm only going to be planting two 
uh, head lettuce right here because that's all that I'm going to have room for is the two head lettuce. And that's okay. That's, that's perfectly fine. Again, this is what lettuce seed looks like. So I really only want to drop one lettuce seed. If you get more than one, don't worry about it. You can easily thin these out when they start growing. And just, you know, you can, you can eat them. As I lift this up, I'm gonna look where that seed is. And again, I wanna kind of push it down so it makes soil contact. Maybe put a little soil over it, but not a lot. And then I'm gonna come and I'm gonna be going back over this again. So again, it's not going to touch exactly, but I can tilt it so I know where to start over there. And the next thing that I was going to plant is to chard. Um, this is a container chard from Renee's garden called Pot of Gold. And if I go back to my seedling square chart, um, chart is also a blue, a number four. So these are bigger seeds. What I'm gonna do is just push this down and make my hole. And I can see where my hole is. And hopefully I have not made this too deep. I mean, I can always, you know, go like that if I think it's too deep and kind of fill that in and make it just, just the right size because you definitely don't want it too deep. But I'm going to open this up and chard is really large seeds. So there you go. That's what chard seeds look like. And I'm just going to put one there. I'm going to put one there. And I will put just a little soil over it. You basically want soil that is one to one and a half times the depth of the seed. That's why small seeds we don't really cover. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is this container basil. And again, it is a blue. So I'm going to go where my mark is. I'm going to come over here. I guess I shouldn't say the last thing because we are going to add some carrots. Um, but again, I'm going to make, make my marks, which are going to be kind of deep. I'm going to take my finger and go back and kind of just, you know, fill this in. But I need to be able to see my indentations. So... Show you what. Okay, this is what basil seed looks like. And again, I just want one seed per hole, but I'm not gonna worry if I get more than one seed per hole. Just gonna cover it up a little bit like that. Again, not too deep. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm going to put these tomatoes down in these holes. I realize you can't see this, and I'm sorry. But I will show you what these tiny tomato seeds look like. There you go. And it's just going to be one seed per pot, just like that. Again, I'll get a little pinch of vermiculite. I'm trying to hit this in the center of the pot. Sometimes that works really well, and sometimes, well, it just doesn't. Um, again, there's no need to stress about this. It, it will be okay. Um, if you're worried about soil falling down around this, you could always make some kind of, I don't know, maybe a toilet paper roll or paper towel holder roll that you could put down inside of the cow pot to make sure that the soil doesn't fall in. So that's completely up to you. And the very last thing I'm going to do, I have this little area right here that I can get two more carrot seed in. 
And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add two more small carrot seed. Now, the good thing about this, actually, I can get four. The good thing about this is, as I harvest, I can replant. So it's not just a one and done kind of thing with this. It's harvest and replant. Also with this container, the size it is, I could put hoops and I could put frost cover or even six mil plastic over the top so that I could keep cool crops such as lettuce going all winter long and just step right out on my deck and be able to harvest this. Now I'm gonna pick the camera up because I'm gonna show you down. I'm hoping you guys can see. Do you see the, the cow pots all the way down in there? Like I said, I'm sorry that, you know, I don't have better camera equipment, but I'm one person with um, one set of hands. So anyway, um, this is what this is what my container looks like. And I hope this has been helpful. I hope this has inspired you to at least try to grow some food because with the rising food prices, um, so many problems with our foods being recalled. Anything that you can grow yourself, even if it's a single tomato in a five gallon bucket, anything you can grow yourself is gonna help your food bill and it's gonna give you access to fresh, healthy food. And again, items like lettuce, it is not hard at all to grow those year round. I am the co-author of the Complete Idiot's Guide to Year Round Gardening, and also the author of the Complete Idiot's Guide to Seed Saving and Starting, if you're interested in either one of those books. I blog at https slash slash exotic gardening.com so come check us out please subscribe join our membership and feel free to leave any comments below and i will be happy to get back with you or even do a video if you need to see a little more close-up instruction of what i'm doing thanks for watching and have a great day guys